Joined now by the party's chairman, Paul Weston. Uh, welcome to The Daily Politics. Uh, Thank you. When you founded Liberty GB, you made a video entitled My Name is Paul Weston and I'm a Racist. Uh, why are you a racist? Because this is what, uh, if you talk about mass immigration or you talk about uh, Islamic fundamentalism, you will be labelled a racist. But are you a racist? Not in the traditional uh, terminology, no. But What about you know, untraditional terminology? What, in what way are you racist? In an untraditional point of view, I think that when you had the police chiefs and the social workers and the council workers in Rotherham and Rochdale who overlooked what was going on with the, uh, the Muslim gang rapes going on there because they were terrified of being called racist. And this happened for 10 years. Now, maybe they're very proud of not being racist, but I think... But, yeah, but I'm not asking about that. I'm asking you, do you regard yourself as a racist? No, I don't, no. So why did you make a video saying I'm a racist? Because if you watch the entire video, it is actually making the point that you cannot be quiet about what's going on because of one word. It's right. better to speak out and be honest. And I okay. wish that those police chiefs and social workers had spoken out and been honest rather than being frightened of one word. Uh, you may or you may not be a racist, but you're certainly an Islamophobe, aren't you? You've called Islam a thoroughly savage political and re religious ideology. Not Islamism, Islam. All of the religion is savage. It is, a, it is a backward, intolerant, undemocratic, savage, political ideology. It is so much more than just a religion. It is a total social, economic, political way of life. And I think if, <clears throat> if you look around the world today and you see what is going on in these Islamic countries, condoned by Muhammad, condoned by the Quran, how can anybody, in all honesty, not say that this is a intolerant... So you are an savage, Islamophobe? An Islamophobe suggests an irrational fear of Islam. That's what well, a phobia well, you means. Ban, well, you want to ban I, Muslims from holding public office. That seems pretty irrational fear. I am an Islamo-realist, and I think if you look at, uh, at Muslims today in public office, like Lutfi Rahman in, in Tower Hamlets, there are all sorts of problems going on there. Yeah, but you can pick any sort of people. You do not accept that there are hundreds of thousands, millions of Muslims in this country living perfectly respectable, well, decent... British lives. Absolutely, there are. And so I think, why, wh I think wh you will find that there are. Why also, do you want to ban them from public office? That there are also hundreds of thousands and millions of moderate Muslims living in Syria and Iraq and Mali. It does not stop what is happening. A small percentage of the fanatics are always going to control but the That majority. can be true of any society, I mean, including white British society, which many will regard you as the fanatical wing of white British society. I'm sure lots of people do, but I think... And you are, aren't you? I think that if you compare what we are saying to what is going on in the Islamic countries and what has been going on here in terms of terrorism, there is absolutely no way you can possibly compare uh, somebody adhering to the democratic process, voicing a genuine concern of a lot of people in this country okay. and be compared to the, uh, to, to the terrorists who are operating all around Why the world Why should today? Muslims not hold public office in this country? British citizens born here, brought up in um, the Islam religion. Why does that make them unfit to hold public office? Because nearly all of them are activists. They are, they are Islamic political activists, which is why they've really? got to the top. How do you know that? How do you know that? Well, for example, you look at Baroness Farsi. Now, Baroness Farsi... She's a politician, by definition. They're all activists. You're an activist. No, but she I is, mean, the fact is, is, your website she, she is, is full of bile, isn't it? You is, describe she these... She is not, Mr. Neil. She is not a conservative activist as such. You know, she, she, she has now stood down because she has a problem with you, Israel and Palestine. This is, this, this is why we well, need lots to... Lots of people have a problem with Israel and Palestine. But, they don't Palestine. Re, but, but most all mainstream right. politicians do not resign from their posts all over it. All right. Paul Weston, thank you. We've run out of time. <laughs>